Hey everybody, it's JJ here. I decided to play soccer with my brother Mikey. He had never played soccer before. Mikey, kick me the ball already. What are you waiting for? Uh, this ball seems kind of deflated. I inflated this ball 10 minutes ago. Let's play already. Okay, catch the ball, JJ. Whoa, nice kick, Mikey. You're gonna be a famous soccer player for sure in about 40 years. Ha ha. At least I'll be one, but you'll never be a good soccer player. Mikey, it was just a joke. Don't take offense to me. Nobody laughs at your jokes, JJ. Now I'm gonna kick this ball so hard you won't be able to catch it. Ha ha, go ahead and try it. Ah, I hate you, stupid woman. Um, looks like our parents are fighting again. You're the worst husband ever. Our parents started to argue so often. I don't like it at all. They're adults and intelligent people, but they act like little children. Let's go see what's going on over there. Maybe we'll have to make it up to them. We've never been good at this, Mikey. I still hate to see our parents fighting. You haven't washed the dishes again. It should be done by you, woman. I work and bring home money. I'm actually working too. You're not helping me at home. I don't understand how I married you. It's a good thing we're getting divorced. What? Our parents are getting divorced? This can't be happening. Oh, kids, you're here already? We didn't see you guys at all. Did you hear us? Yeah, you were swearing too loud. Divorce is a bad idea. I don't want to destroy our family. Sorry, kids, but Daddy and I can't live together anymore. Oh, that's not good. We can't go on living like this. We'll have to live separate ways. I already said that. You're so dumb and deaf. Stop fighting already. Let's make up quickly. You're the nastiest man in the world. And we already split the kids. Split? We're not a piece of cake. Oh, we have guests coming to our house. We didn't invite anyone. Who could it be? Kids, you're not living together now. I'm sorry to say that. I don't want to live like this. I want to live with a full family. Parents don't seem to care what we want. What is going on here? Don't open that door. Hi, everybody. I'm a divorce lawyer. I've been called by your parents. Get out of here. We don't need you. What's the purpose of this lawyer? I have some very important papers to show you. Oh, yeah. Show those papers to everybody. I won the trial. What paperwork? What trial? I don't want to see anything. According to this piece of paper, JJ is going to live with Daddy and Mikey with Mommy. That's what the trial decided. What? All the children must belong to me. They've appropriated us like we're some kind of toy. Ha ha ha. Nobody asked you kids. Actually, the kids will be much better off with me. It offends me that no one asks us. We were living as a family not so long ago. Let's live the same way. I didn't know this was going to happen. Ha 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 ha. I'll get a lot of money for these papers. Bye bye losers. What's that supposed to mean? Am I gonna live without Mikey? Yeah, JJ, you're right. It's all wrong. I want to live with Mikey together. JJ, don't walk away from me, please. Mom, are you just gonna let me go? <laughs> I'm sorry, son. We have to go now. I'm not going anywhere. Mom, let him live with us. No. JJ, you'll be better off with me than with your stupid, pushy mom. No. Let me at least say goodbye to my brother. You're doing a bad thing. Your brother belongs to your mom now. By the court order, you can't see each other anymore. Then this court is dumb. I don't agree with it. I'm sorry, JJ, but that's what the court has decided. You're gonna live with me in a different house now. What? You have another house? When did you build this? Secretly from your mom. Ha ha. I had a safe place from her just in case. Get in the car and let's go. Uh, okay. Guys, have you ever had divorced parents? Write about it in the comments. That's not cool at all. It's time for me to go. You know, I totally screwed the court and your mom. I am a very rich and successful businessman. We're gonna make tons of money together. Are we gonna share the money with Mikey? No. No, your mom can never find out about that. Oh, that's not good. Yes, sell the stock at high prices. That'll bring me another $100 billion. How successful and smart I am. <laughs> oh yeah, having your own personal gym at home is really cool. I stopped going to school, I don't do homework. All I do is work out. Yeah, whoo! There it goes. I can't even feel that weight. Although this barbell weighs about 100 kilograms, I'm so strong. Whew, my morning workout has come to an end. I have a bunch more exercises to do today, but I should probably start with a run around town. Hey guys, do you run in the morning? Write about it in the comments. I'm pretty sure none of you run at all. Ha ha ha. But I'm completely out of money. It's good to go out when you have a few dollars in your pocket. I told you, open new businesses. I'm buying gold. I need more money. Money. Daddy, good morning. Can you give me some money? I want to go out. Uh, JJ? Hi there. Of course. I'll give you all the money you need because we're a super rich family. Oh, yeah. How lucky I am to have such a good dad. Thank you so much for that. Now go out and have fun. I have a lot of work to do right now. Okay. Thanks again, Dad. Yeah. Good luck, son. Hello. Now sell all the gold. <laughs> 
Uh-oh, I made another $50 million. That was very easy. Ha ha ha. My dad is a really cool businessman. Good luck to you. Make more money. And I'm going to help my daddy spend that money. He only knows how to earn it, not spend it. And I'm going into town in my own car. I usually drive a red Ferrari. Look at that baby. She's so beautiful. Friends, would you like a car like this? Write about it in the comments. Even though I'm seven years old, I can still drive because I'm too rich to obey any rules. It's so good to be rich. Too bad you can't understand me because you're not rich like me. Ha 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 ha. All right, it's just a joke. I'm only rich because my dad makes a lot of money. If it wasn't for him, I'd be living in a dump. Yeah, it's not cool to live after my mommy died. I miss my old family so much when I used to play with my brother JJ, mom and dad. All I have left is this picture. It's the only thing that even makes me a little bit happier. Although I'd like to eat a little more to make me happy, but I don't have the money to buy a loaf of cheap bread. Living alone in a dumpster at six years old is very difficult. I wish I could play soccer or watch cartoons right now, but it's time for me to look for food in the garbage cans. I'm getting hungry. Day after day, I have to find food in a pile of garbage. My life became hell when my mother passed away. Sometimes I feel like my life is just someone's stupid joke. It's time to stop whining and look for food again. Well, 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 what we got here? Empty bags, food wrappers, peelings, some cockroaches, and where's the normal food? I only found two rotten apples with worms coming out of them. If I eat this, my stomach will hurt for days. It's not a cool idea at all. Maybe some passerby wouldn't mind giving me a few cents to buy some food at the store. I'm so tired of living like a stinking bum. Kids my age should be having fun and enjoying life, not surviving like me. Sometimes I meet classmates when I'm digging through dumpsters. They always laughed at me and threw garbage at me. I feel very ashamed that I am so poor and homeless. Also, that sign doesn't work at all. No one wants to give me food or money. People have no pity or compassion for a small and hungry boy like me. It's all awful. <laughs> While some kids go to school, I'm driving my cool car to my very beautiful and cute girlfriend's house. Some people think a relationship at such an early age is too much, but I don't care about other people's opinions when I have so much money in my pocket. My little baby will be crazy about this beautiful bouquet of flowers. In fact, basically, any girl will be happy with this expensive bouquet of flowers. Guys, do you want to date girls? Write about it in the comments. It's hard to do when you don't have enough money. Okay, stop talking. Time to kiss the chicks. Hey, it's JJ. Open the door. Your boyfriend is here. Who's making that noise? JJ, whoa, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too, honey. It's been so long since you've been in my house. Oh, uh, your place is where I'd visit again. Ha ha, I didn't come empty handed, darling. These pretty little flowers are for you. Wow, JJ, you are so sensitive and romantic. I love you so much. I love you too, sweetheart. This bouquet is the least I can do for my favorite girl. Wow, these flowers smell so good. They're my favorite blue roses. Haha, <laughs> how about a ride around town in my red Ferrari? That's a great idea. Let's go. Friends, don't be jealous. This beautiful girl belongs only to me. Stop talking to yourself. Let's go out already. I want to have fun. I'm actually talking to my viewers on my channel. Ah, uh, I totally forgot about that. I hope they like me. Let them write in the comments about it. You know, everyone I know thinks I'm only dating you because you have tons of money. But that's not true, is it? Oh yeah, I'm only dating you because you're a big, strong jock. Oh, well that too, ha ha ha. You wouldn't want to talk to me if I was some stinking bum. Oh, I hate smelly bums. Don't even talk about them in my face. Okay, okay, ha ha. It's just a joke. Let's move on. Why are we walking when you have a cool car? Because you need to move more often. Otherwise, you'll become a fat and ugly woman. And I don't like that kind of girls. <laughs> Who's crying? Hmm, I think I know that guy. Hey boy, why are you crying? Maybe we can help you. No one's gonna help me out. What? Mikey? Is it really you? Whoa, I haven't seen you in so long. Uh, what kind of big guy are you? I'm JJ, your brother. Wow, really? I finally found you. Do you have a brother? Oh yeah, that's my favorite little brother. I finally found my family. Ha ha, I'm glad to see you. Actually, I'm bigger than you. And that's my girlfriend. I think you two are gonna be friends. Uh, this is my home. A uh, what? What? You're living on the street like a stinking bum? Are you serious? Ah, uh, that's really sad. My mom died of an illness. Now I live alone on the street. It's not easy for me. Oh my God, that's my mom too. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mikey. Your brother needs your help. Oh yeah, my brother can't live like that. I have to take care of him. But what do you want to do? 
I have to wash him, dress him, feed him, and show him to my father. And you should go home. I have a lot to do today. Maybe we can go out with you later. Uh, seriously? Our walk is canceled? Yes! My brother is more important than you. Get out of here! Okay, whatever you say, JJ, I'll be waiting for you at my house. Bye-bye. I wish I had told her I had ten more girls like her. Mikey, you're my brother. I gotta help you. Let's go to my house. I'll solve all your problems. I don't think Daddy would mind if you went back to him. Wow, you still live with your dad? I'd love to see him again. Besides, I'm tired of living on the street. Oh, yeah. I'll take you for a ride in my red Ferrari. My dad and I are very rich now. Do you drive a car? You're so young. Ha ha ha. I can afford a lot when I have a lot of cash in my pocket. You're so cool. So you've been living on the streets this whole time. That's just awful. I had no other choice. No one could help me at that moment. You should have come looking for us. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is my dad's and my house. Dad is working right now, but I think he'd love to see you again. I'd love to see him again, too. That stupid divorce almost ruined my life. Wow, your house is so rich and big. Oh, yeah, much bigger and cooler than our old house. I'm sure there's room for me in a house this big. Of course it will. Let's go inside. I have to show you everything. According to the lawyer's agreement from the court, I'm not allowed to see you again. Nobody cares about the paperwork or the stupid trial. Wow, this place smells rich and expensive. Oh, yeah, compared to your dump, our house is a royal palace to you. You're right. By the way, where's our daddy? He works in his office on the second floor. Let's go see him. He'll be overjoyed when he sees you. I hope so. Or maybe he's forgotten all about me and will kick me out of this house and back onto the street. Don't even think about it. I give out loans at 30% APR, not 1% less. Hey, Dad, how are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, what? Mikey? Whoa, are you here? I'm so happy to see you. By the way, you're supposed to live with your mom. How's she doing? Uh, our mom died. Mikey's been living alone this whole time. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, Mikey. This is a huge loss for all of us. It wasn't easy living alone in a dump without her. You've been living in a dumpster, too? Oh my god, from now on, you're gonna live with us. Oh yeah, I like it. I told you daddy would be happy for you. Now we'll live together again. Okay, now I have to get to work right away. I have a very important business deal. Okay, dad, we won't distract you. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. I'm so hungry, I'd eat everything you have in the fridge. When was the last time you ate? Maybe two weeks ago. Seven months later. Today I decided to go for a walk with Mikey. By the way, say hello to my viewers. Hello to all my viewers. Actually, they're my viewers, not yours. No one would watch you alone. I'm the reason everyone watches this channel. It's quite the opposite. You're just a guest in my videos. I'm the boss. Oh, look here. There's an ad. There's a store opening up with all kinds of super duper cool cars. A car sale? Whoa, hey, I've been wanting to buy a nice car for a long time. It's not cool to be a pedestrian for the rest of your life. You've only got enough money for a rust bucket. Actually, I work every day, unlike you, Mikey. Even with your piss poor job, you have enough money for a bicycle at most, not a cool car. You're just jealous of me. I'm rich and you're not. All you can do is insult me. Ha ha. Well, let's go see how much money you've got saved up. Let's go. Unlike some people, I know how to save money, not spend it on hamburgers and chips. I'm not as stingy and greedy as you are, JJ. At least I'll have a car, even though I'm stingy and greedy. Ha. Okay, you turn around. I'm embarrassed to show you my jewelry. Oh my gosh, you probably keep your couple of dollars in there. You're as poor as I am. Okay, let's see what I got here. Wow, I've saved up a lot of money though. I think I've got enough for the coolest car in that store. How many diamonds do you have here? 64 diamonds. That's the most money you've ever seen in your life. I have a lot more diamonds than you do, but they're all made of plastic. Ha ha ha. Your diamonds are worthless, Mikey. They belong in a dumpster. No, they're only mine. So here we are at this store. I hope it sells cool cars. Oh yeah, I hope there's some red cool cars in there. Auto shop, whoa! Now that's a store for real rich people like me. Let's just go see what cars are for sale. I want to buy the fastest and coolest car in this store. And I'm not buying some stupid rusty grandpa car. Wow, and there's quite a selection of different cars here. We need to look at all the cars here and find the best one for you. There are signs here with their top speeds so we can find the fastest one. These cars are too slow. I even run faster than they do. Yeah, it's a car for real losers. I don't want one of those. Oh, look at this beauty. I totally want to buy this cool car. Uh, I don't know. It's not what I wanted. No, I want to buy a red Ferrari. It's been my dream since I was a kid. 280 miles an hour. Mikey will never be able to run faster than that Ferrari. Haha. <laughs> I think I run on equal footing with it. At this speed? You gotta be kidding me. Nobody runs that fast. You just haven't seen
seen how fast I can run. Oh, uh, really? Ha-ha. <laughs> okay, then let's go buy this car. I've decided it's what I need. Well, let's go get the car, salesman. Hey, anybody here? I want to buy a super cool car. Hello? I'm a salesman at this store. What kind of car do you want to buy? That red Ferrari over there is the one I want to buy. Okay, now we'll get it organized and packaged for you. Ha! Do you want a bag? What bag? Why would you pack it? I want to drive it out of here right away. How are you supposed to put a car in a bag? Ha ha ha. It's just a joke. It was funny, wasn't it? There's nothing funny about it. I want to buy this car and get out of here. Okay, okay. You're so boring. Let me see how much this car costs. It's worth 64 diamonds. It says the amount on the sign. That'll be 64 diamonds for the car. Okay. Here are your diamonds. Now give me my car keys. JJ's been a little jumpy lately. That's great. I found the key to that car. You can drive it away today. Then give them to me. I'm tired of waiting for you. Okay, here are your keys. Now get the hell out of here. You're too rough on me. I'm offended. Okay, thank you. You can go cry in your office. Wow, JJ, you took that salesman down pretty hard. Because owning a red Ferrari should always be cool. All people must kneel before me. Mikey, on your knees right now. Haha, <laughs> you're not a king. Calm down, kid. And actually, I'd buy a green Ferrari, not a red one. That color's not cool at all. Ha, that's when you have the money for your Ferrari. You can buy any color car you want. I don't care if it's pink. Wow, this car is really cool. By the way, JJ, let me drive this car. I want to drive it so much. You want to go for a ride? Really? Yeah, your car is really cool. I'll drive it once and then I'll give it to you. I thought you said you ran faster than that car. Let's see if you can outrun it. Ha ha ha. Uh, is this another one of your stupid jokes? Because it's not funny to me at all. Come on, Mikey. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to sit down with you now. Run, Mikey. Ha ha ha. You're fast. Catch up to my car. Stop. Please stop moving away from me. This isn't funny anymore. I'll get tired if I run so much. Ha ha ha. And you bragged to me that you were really fast. Even though I'm not going too fast. Oh my god. These JJ jokes are so dumb. I'm getting tired of it. You're so slow. Ha ha ha. Oh, JJ, stop. No. Ha ha. That's so funny. You still have a chance to catch up with me. You're so fast. I can't be faster than a car. Just let me drive this car already. Run around a bit, then you can drive. Three hours later. JJ, please stop. I'm tired already. Huh? I can't hear you from inside my car. Come closer and shout louder. Here I am at home. Wow, that was a fast drive. My new car is incredibly lightning fast. I wonder where Mikey is now. He's probably got a long run ahead of him. Hey, JJ, I'm tired of running after you. Why didn't you take me with you? Are you gonna let me ride in your new car now? Yeah, Mikey, you're right. My car is faster than any car in the world. No one can beat me. But I changed my mind. I won't let you drive it. What? You promised you'd let me drive it. I want to try to drive this cool car, too. It's not good. Mikey, calm down. I just changed my mind about giving you this car to drive. It's so beautiful and expensive. What if you crash it? And then what do I do? But JJ, I'd try to drive more carefully. I'm done. You lied to me. You said you'd give me a ride. And now you're saying the opposite. How can I trust you after that? I'm pissed. I'm out of here. You're on your own, but with your cool car. Bye, JJ. Oh, I think Mikey's lost his mind. He's getting mean. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll let him ride in my car. But now I want to sleep. See you tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye. Moments later. Oh, what's that sound? Who's coming to my house at this late hour? It's weird and a little creepy. I should go and see who's coming to my house. What a nightmare. It's only one o'clock in the morning. All normal people are asleep right now. What kind of crazy person rings my doorbell in the middle of the night? Mikey, what are you doing here? And why are you up? Have you seen what time it is? JJ, look, I bought myself a brand new car. Let's have a race. Let's see who wins. What? Ha ha, are you kidding? What kind of a wreck is this? I'm gonna beat you in the race. Your car probably doesn't even start. How did you get it here? If you're so tough, why don't you agree to race me? Afraid you'll lose? No. Mikey, look at your car and look at mine. Your car looks like you stole it from a junkyard. It's obvious I'm gonna win. Have you lost your mind? Stop saying such nasty things to me. I'm angry again. Get in your stupid car and let's have a race if you're not afraid of losing. Ha ha. All right, Mikey, I agree. Get in your car and let's go. Now we'll see whose car is cooler and faster. All right, Mikey, listen up. I'm gonna go to the coolest track. You follow me, but don't fall too far behind. Ha ha. 
stop messing with me! You haven't even won the race yet! What if I do? What are you gonna do, JJ? Mikey, are you kidding me? You realize you'll never beat me with this car? Even now, I'm already faster on the track. It's just not possible. Stop talking, we're here. Get out of the cars. Okay, Mikey, we're here at the track. This is where we're gonna race. It's long and steep. You ready? Of course I'm ready, JJ. I want to go for a ride with you so bad. But you wouldn't let me drive your car. So I bought this wreck with my last dime so we could race. Enough talk, Mikey. We gotta draw the starting line. Well, JJ, do you think I have a chance of beating you in this race? Of course you don't stand a chance, Mikey. Now, when the race starts, I'll be gone so fast you won't even be able to see my car on the horizon. You're so mean, JJ. It's not my fault I don't have the money for a cool car like yours. And you're such a jerk. You won't let me drive your car. All right, folks, watch this. It's gonna be the ultimate race between me and Mikey. Who do you think's gonna win? Let me know in the comments. All right, Mikey, start your car. It must take you a long time to start it. Ha ha, I'm picking a victory dance. Stop messing with me, dumb JJ. All right, Mikey, are you ready to race? One, two, three, and go. Mikey, did you even move? Ha ha, I'm already ahead of you, so what do you think? Calm down, JJ, you haven't won yet. The race isn't over. There's a tight corner up ahead. That's where I can beat you. Get ready. You've got to get to that corner first. I'm afraid your car won't make it another 100 meters. It'll fall apart. Ha ha ha, very funny, JJ. Better watch the road. There's a very tight turn ahead and you're going very fast. Oh, what? The car's not responding. Help me, help, I'm upside down. No, how could this happen? I told him to be careful. We should call an ambulance. They should come and save JJ. Maybe he was crushed by a car. I don't know. Oh, my head hurts so bad. What happened? Where am I? Last thing I remember, Mikey drove some wrecked car to my house. Hey, Mikey, stop crying. I'm okay, I'm alive. Oh, JJ, you're okay. I'm so glad. I was really scared when your car flipped over. Please forgive me. I was mad at you for not letting me ride in your car and decided to have a race. If it wasn't for me, nothing would have happened. Mikey, you are very lucky. I don't know what you're apologizing for, but I don't remember anything at all. Apparently, I hit my head too hard in the accident. That's it. Guys, never argue with your friends and don't drive your car at high speed. Yes, JJ is absolutely right. He was miraculously lucky to be alive. I was so worried, you can't even imagine. I cried all these days, very much. Yes, that's right. The next day. I had to get JJ out of his house. I haven't left my house in a couple months. That's not cool at all. Everyone needs to go out with their friends more often. Oh, it's that lottery ticket store again. Don't ever buy tickets here. It's a scam. I think it's a good idea to get rich. Spend a little money on one ticket and win a whole lot of money. That's a funny joke, JJ. Nobody wins the lottery. Only a complete idiot would buy it. I want to buy it. There's always a chance of winning. Uh, okay then. Let's buy a ticket. If there's a chance, we'll give it a try. You're so easy to talk to, Mikey. Ha ha ha. Let's go. I hate my job so much. Hello. Me and my friend want to buy a lottery ticket. Yes, we're going to win a lot of money. You're so stupid. Nobody wins the lottery. One ticket is worth one diamond. Hmm, it's not that expensive. We could win a bunch of diamonds in return. Then give me everything you've got. Here you go. You're too rough. I don't like it. I don't care what you don't like about it at all. Give us our lottery tickets. Thanks for buying me a ticket too, JJ. Here's your stupid tickets. Don't lose them and get the hell out of my store. Throwing them on the floor is not polite at all. I don't care at all. Stop talking. You're interfering with my work. Go away now. Okay, thanks for giving us those tickets. You have a good day, mister. Goodbye. Thanks for the tickets. You will never win anything ever. Two idiots. I'm already figuring out what I'd buy with that money. Let's think about it when we win. It's getting dark and we have to go home. Then let's go. It says here that the results of the winnings will be known the next day. I can't wait to finally wake up. But that salesman was right after all. The chance of winning is very low. I'll see you tomorrow then, JJ. Go straight to bed and the next day will come faster. Okay, good idea. That's a lot of money I could win. Friends, what would you buy if you won the lottery? Write about it in the comments. I'd buy myself a big rich house, a cool car, and a huge yacht. But I wouldn't give a dime to anyone else. It would be all my money. See you guys tomorrow. The next day.
Whoa, good morning, everyone. I got a good night's sleep. I can't wait to get my pile of money. Who knows, though? Maybe I'll stay poor like this for the rest of my life. Uh-oh, who's calling me? Is that my pile of money? No way. I have to open the door right now. Hey, did you fall asleep in there? Open the door. I'm on my way. Hello, did you bring my money? Uh, hello, I didn't bring you any money. I brought you something better. What could be better than money? Who the hell are you? You won the lottery. I brought you a bank check for 999999 diamonds. Congratulations. What? Really? I don't believe it. Wow, this is the best day of my life. You are now the richest man in the world. You're a very lucky man. I'm so lucky. Bye-bye then. You can get all the diamonds from our bank. Bye-bye. Thank you. Wow, I'm rich now, just like I imagined. Now I can buy anything I want. I can buy every house in this town. Time to show off my winnings to Mikey. Oh, I think that's him. JJ, open this door already. Hey, Mikey, what's up? I didn't win anything at all in the lottery. I'm so sad. Don't worry, Mikey. The chance of winning is very low. That's what that salesman said. This whole lottery thing is a scam for idiots. And I won. Look, it's not cheating. It's a check for a pile of piles of diamonds. So you're lucky and I'm not. Okay, whatever. You and I are both rich now. You betcha. I'll share the diamonds with you because you're my best friend. Will you share the diamonds with me? Wow, thank you so much. I never doubted you, JJ. You and I will have such rich fun together. Lots of expensive clubs, entertainment, cars, and all the most expensive and coolest things in the world will belong to us. Oh, then let's go spend your endless money. I can't wait to have some fun with your cash. Let's go! Ha ha! Spending it all alone will be boring. That's what friends are for, to help out. I've got to figure out where to put my money. JJ, it smells like homeless in here. There's a stinker sitting right there. I'm Ampow. I need food. I'm so sick and lonely. It's another beggar, but I don't mind helping her out a little. I think that's a good idea. She could use some help right now. Call her or she can't hear us at all. Hello, get up! We want to give you some food so you don't starve to death. What? Somebody wants to help me? Just in time. I haven't eaten anything in a week. We can give you a whole lot of money. I don't need money. I need food. I'm so hungry, you know. Can't you see what it says on the box? Give me food, not money. I'm tired of going through dumpsters looking for crumbs of some weird smelly food. At least eat some bread. I think you need it more. Uh, oh. Really? Bread? Whoa, thank you so much. You are such a kind and good person. That's not all I can do for you, baby. You can actually buy a lot of food for money. Thank you so much, handsome. I liked you, by the way. Oh, you're cute, too. My name's Mikey, by the way. Then let's go out with you. You're so good. You stink so bad, but that's okay. I have a shower at home. Shower? Wow, you're the best. Hey, I'm actually super rich. Come with me to buy me a yacht and an expensive house. Forget Mikey, I'm way cooler than him. I actually won the lottery. Don't miss your chance to date a rich man. I don't need you at all. Mikey gave me bread to eat, and you're an idiot. Mikey has no money at all. You're the stupid one. You're the one who's stupid. Get out of here. Don't interfere with my relationship with my boyfriend, Mikey. Are you deaf? Can't you hear? I have a lot of money. Calm down, JJ. Not everything in this world can be bought with money. Money can't buy love. Ha ha ha. You're so smart, Mikey. And you're so good, Ampho. I love you. All right, then. I don't need a friend like that. I can spend money on myself alone. You're so stupid. You don't even realize I'm a millionaire. Look at that kissing couple. I wanted to make out with her. Some bread is more important to her than my money. Oh, my God. Four to six days later. Hey guys, I bought myself the coolest house ever. Let me show you what's in it. My house has a big, deep pool and a spacious terrace on the second floor. Of course, the entrance is decorated with marble and plants, but the best part is inside. I put together a computer from the most expensive parts. I also have a comfortable bed. In general, this house is not for one person. There are a lot of bedrooms. This one is for Amphow. Downstairs is the kitchen and living room. They They've been decorated by famous designers. You can hang out with your friends here. Of course, I don't clean it myself. They do it for me. Very convenient. Let's keep moving. Here is a separate play area for guests with a game console and computer. I've also made a toy corner. There's a Kirby, a llama, balloons. Very bright. I think she'll love it. And finally, the garage. Here I have a red Lamborghini for Amphow. I remember her dreaming of a car like this. And a Galantwagen for me. We won't have to walk and we won't fight over who gets to drive. I think it turned out perfect. She's going to see it all and fall in love. I'm sure she will. There's no time to lose. I'm going after her right now. Don't worry, Afmao. We'll soon have a better house than this. 
It's okay, Mikey. The important thing is that you're with me and we'll figure the rest out. You're the best girl ever. I love you. I love you too. I know you'll get there and I'm gonna help you. Am I in the right place? I think so. I can't believe they live in a dumpster. That's weird. They live in the worst conditions, but they love each other so much. Hey, Amphow, I came to see you. Huh? Do you remember me? What, JJ? What are you doing here? Look, you don't have to live here. I have a lot of money. Here, take them. Come with me. We can leave now. Money? Also, a house and cars. You say you have a lot of it? Yes, take this. And this car is yours too? Yes, I bought it. And I still have a lot of money. You won't have to live in poverty. JJ, what are you doing? That's my girlfriend. We love each other. Is that what friends do? But I love her too. Oh my. Look, Mikey, can we step back and talk? Talk about what? You know, uh, JJ, can you give us a minute? Of course. Come on, loser, go. You've gotten so rude. I'm sorry, Mikey, but I'm going with JJ. What? With him? Yeah, he's got money and a house. But we're happy without it, aren't we? I can't live in poverty any longer. Understand me. Well, if that's the way you want it. I do. Goodbye, Mikey. So, Afmau, are you coming with me? Yeah, let's go, JJ. I'm sad to leave Mikey here, but I'm tired of begging. Get in the car. I'm going to give Mikey a little help. Are we really going to ride it? I'm so excited. Yes, it's going to be a very nice trip. Really? You'll finally relax. OK. So, it's time to say goodbye, Mikey. That's very brutal, JJ. Come on. What kind of love can there be here in the dump? Take the money. Buy yourself a house. I don't want money if it makes me like you. Well, that's a waste. I think I did the right thing. The girl of my dreams should live in good conditions. Let's go. How's Mikey? He's gonna be fine. I feel so bad for him about all of this. Don't worry. You made the right choice. Someone like you shouldn't settle for less. This is where I live. What do you think? You're kidding, right? Do you really live here? I do, and you'll be living here now, too. I'm so excited. Come on, I'll show you the house. Here's the entrance. Wow, this house is huge. I can't believe it. I bought it for us. There's even a swimming pool. You can use it anytime you want. You must have spent tons of money. Compared to how many I still have, it's not much. Why don't you show me what you got in the house? Sure, let's go. I think you did a great job of organizing everything inside. I did my best. Look, there's the kitchen and the living room. Wow, it's so beautiful in here. I hired famous designers to make the interior stylish. We won't even have to clean this place up. Why? They'll do it for us. I'm so impressed. But that's not all. Af Mao, look. What? What is it? That's the safe with my money in it. Oh, really? I've stuffed it full of it. The password is 123. Here. Wow, I've never seen so much money. You can take money out of it sometimes. Thank you, JJ. That's so nice. Money, cars, house. I I'm overwhelmed. By the way, what time is it? It's 8 p.m. already. Would you mind showing me my bedroom? Of course, it's upstairs. I'd like to rest. I've left enough space in it for you to furnish it to your liking. Here it is. We can do it tomorrow. You did? And this is my bedroom. It's incredible. Glad you like it. Good night, Amphow. Good night, JJ. Sleep tight. Oh, I'm so tired. Today is an amazing day. Amphow is finally with me. I'm going to go to bed. Ah, uh, what's this? Why is the alarm going off? What's going on? Amphow, where are you? Are you okay? I don't understand. I should check downstairs. Maybe she got scared and hid? Hey, stop! Where's my money? There was a lot of money here this afternoon. Did she really steal them? Who is that there? Mikey, we're rich now. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, JJ! Mikey and I decided to take your money! They ruined you anyway! Hey, come back! They're mine! You can't steal them! It's my money! Bye, loser! You treated me badly! Now I'll do the same! They're running away! I can't even catch them up! That's too bad! Now I have no money at all! How awful! I'm so angry! One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. You know, Mikey, sometimes I feel like I used to be an adult. It's a really weird feeling. Um, what are you talking about? We've always been little kids. Maybe you dreamed it. Maybe so, Mikey. But I keep getting the feeling that our whole life is just an ordinary show with no meaning. Stop thinking about it. Let's go home already. We have a lot of very important things to do. We have to watch another endless SpongeBob cartoon. SpongeBob? I'm so tired of watching that cartoon. What else do you propose we do? I don't know. We should do something fun. Our rich parents forgive us all sorts of problems all the time. By the way, yes! 
We have very rich parents. I don't think they'd mind if we drove this car off a cliff. Wow, break this car down completely? That's a great idea. We could stick a bunch of TNT in there and blow it up on the flight into the pit. Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. All we have to do is get our dynamite supplies out of the house. Won't our dad be upset? No, our dad is kind and never scolded us. Yes, our daddy is very good and kind. Okay, then let's go get some dynamite. Oh, children, hi, I have great news for you. You must be pretty tired from schoolwork, huh? Yeah, we're getting sick of this school. What's the good news you got? Maybe he'll give us his car. We're going on a sea trip on a big yacht. We're rich. We can afford it. We'll be swimming in the open ocean. Wow, that's cool. When are we going? Yes, I've wanted to go sailing for a long time. When are we going to go there? Yeah, right now. Get your stuff. Grab your swim trunks, shorts, and everything you need for the resort. That's cool. I want to swim with the dolphins. The Pacific Ocean is waiting for us. I can't wait to get there already. Pack your bags now. JJ, let's hurry up and pack. They might forget we're here alone, like in that movie, Home Alone. Let's go! By the way, Christmas is coming up. I wonder why it hasn't snowed yet. What kind of snow, Mikey? We're going to the sea. Forget your snow. Time to pack our toys in our suitcases. Why do we need toys at sea? There'll be no toys on the boat. Don't be stupid, Mikey. That's right. I'm gonna go pack up my toy stuff. Toys at sea are the most important thing to take with you. Yeah, you're right, JJ. You packed your stuff that fast? Yeah, you just didn't notice how fast I packed. Less talk and you'll get everywhere, JJ. Wow, Mikey, you're really fast. Let's get out of here. We have time to pack your bags. Don't worry, I'll let you use my stuff and my toys. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Mikey. You're always helping me out. Oh, come on. You don't even need clothes at sea. A couple of t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops. And toys as the most necessary things. I have them with me. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're all set. They seem to have completely forgotten about us. Maybe they wanted to go without us. Hey, kids, what took you so long to get ready? We've been waiting for you guys. Wow, they haven't forgotten about us, Mikey. Who could forget such two beautiful boys? Those are some big suitcases you have. Yeah, there's some much-needed stuff in there. It's not a big deal. We can fit a hundred suitcases like that in our car. Such a roomy trunk? Of course it is. I wonder when we're going to go. Oh, we're talking too much. Let's go. Pack your stuff in the car and get in. I can't wait to swim in the ocean. Okay, Mom, we'll be right inside. JJ, do you think dolphins can bite a human? Probably not. Sharks bite, but dolphins don't. I hope we don't see any sharks in the ocean. I hope so, too. But after what you said, I'm afraid to go in the water. Get inside already. Friends, would you like to swim in the open ocean? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for us to hit the road. Let's go. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Let's go towards coral reefs and beautiful fish. Coral reefs? What is that? They are such rocks of dried algae. So the algae dried up and turned to rocks. Who needs these coral reefs anyway? Uh, well, they're beautiful. They're just pretty rocks. Stop talking about your boring rocks. Get out of the car. We're here. Kids, come on out. Why? Are we there yet? Where's the open ocean? Kids, you seem to have forgotten. We're going out on the open ocean on my yacht. We are very rich and can afford it. I wouldn't marry the poor man. What did you say? And where's our boat? Oh, there's our ship over there. Wow, it's so huge. It's like a replica of our toy ship, only a hundred times bigger. I would say a million million times over. Isn't it a beautiful ship? Of course it's beautiful. I wonder how much a ship like this costs. I bought this ship for a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, it's a cheap ship, I'd say. A cheap ship? JJ, I've been working on this ship for 20 years. It's a very expensive purchase. It's only 20 years. Looks like our daddy got scammed out of his money. I agree with you, Mikey. I hope this wreck can swim. Stop buzzing me. It's not a trough. It's a superb and expensive yacht. A small boat. Hee hee hee. Okay, we're just kidding. Your jokes make me nervous. That that's where the captain's cabin is. Yeah, it's cool. And here's a pool where you can swim and stay out in the open sea. Wow, a pool. We're gonna splash around. Let me show you the cabins on the boat. Okay, let's go. I have no idea what could be inside. Like mom said, this is where the captain's room is. This is where he steers the boat and looks at the monitors to make himself seem too smart. Wow, you have to be really smart to understand what it says here. Can we take the wheel? We're like real captains. Looks like our parents don't want to play with us. Yeah, they just want to give this excursion on the ship. And here is the billiards. You can shoot your balls in your spare time. And that's where your bedroom is. I hope we don't fall out of our beds when we sleep there. You're not going to fall anywhere. You can stay right here. We're going to the high seas. It's so nice here. We'll have our own pool table and our own private bedroom. I wonder where our parents will sleep. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's go look at our beds. Let's go. Well, well, well. For a wreck like this ship, that's pretty good. This green bed will be mine. It's like these beds were made for us. And this red bed will be mine. Not a bad room. It's missing a TV with cartoons. Two hours later. Hello, 
friends, we've already sailed far from shore. Mikey and I decided to go swimming in the pool. I can't swim. And over there, our parents are chilling while drinking delicious tropical cocktails. I wish I could drink one of those too, but my dad says I'm too young for that. I wonder why we're not allowed to drink it. Because there is alcohol in the cocktails. Yeah, we're drinking hard while you're lying in this tiny pool. Looks like our dad's drunk again. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Hey, let's go swimming in the sea. It's much more fun. I don't think it's safe. He's drunk. He's allowed to be. Hey, who's drunk? Ike, I'm the soberest man on this ship. Honey, maybe you shouldn't jump. What are you worried about? It's not deep. I'm a great swimmer. Nothing will happen to me. He's drunk. And what? I have the right to swim here. Dad, don't. You could easily drown in this condition. Back off, all of you. I'm going to jump. There's going to be so much splashing. You're going to get wet. It's a very stupid idea, Dad. I'll jump with you. Let's jump together. Mikey, I forbid you to jump in there. Look how high I can jump on this board. I'm just like a frog. That's so cool. Hoo-hoo! Yeah, our father is a real drunk. Daddy, don't swim too far away. Have fun, honey. Come here. The water here is so warm and nice. This place is really cool. Swim here. I'm going to jump to you now. No, kids. You shouldn't be swimming in there. Daddy, don't swim so far away from us. It's dangerous. JJ, look. There's a shark swimming in there. Oh, my God. There's a shark. Dad, get over here. What? I can't hear you. Turn around. There's a shark right next to you. It's going to eat you. Oh, my God. She spotted our dad. Swim back. You're in danger. I'm already swimming towards you. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. She's already here. Give me your hand. I'm almost there. Oh, my God. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, my God. She's dragging him down. How are we supposed to save him now? I don't know. We have to call the rescue squad. But we're on the high seas. They can't find us. What do we do? I don't know. It looks like our father is dead. What do you mean, dead? An ordinary shark is stronger than a man. But our father is stronger. No, Mikey. We'll never see him again. So let's look at the bottom. Maybe he's coming back. No, JJ. He's not there. You know, it's such a stupid death. Mikey, don't say that. We gotta find our daddy. He's long gone from the surface. We have to go after him. No, Mikey. If you dive in, you'll be caught by the same shark. It's too dangerous. He wanted to ride that boat so badly, and now he's gone. Oh, my God, Mikey. We're gonna live without a father now. Four to six days later. Even though he liked to drink, he was a good dad. JJ, you don't have to talk bad about him right now. You were a very good and loving husband. I will always love you, my darling. I hope you're in heaven right now. I miss you. Yeah, Dad. You were always a fun and cool dude for the rest of your life. That's why I respect you. You set an example for me that I shouldn't drink alcohol in the future. Thanks for the lesson, Dad. Yeah, my death was really stupid. I shouldn't have swam in that sea. Who knew there were sharks in there? Now, because of that stupid shark, my family is mourning over my grave. Oh, my God. What am I supposed to do? We are all so sorry to hear about our dad. Yeah, I feel sorry for him, too. And who's gonna buy me the goodies? Not anymore, Mikey. I'm going to put these three roses up as a tribute to our dad. We all loved and respected our daddy very much. I'm kind of sad without my dad already. We will always miss him. The kindest, best, most understanding and brave husband has left us. Now that's a tough guy. He was a really good dad. I'm going home. You can stay here longer if you want. Yeah, our mom's really upset. We were all pretty upset. I can't imagine my life without our dad. Kids, let's go home. This place is too sad. I'm getting sick. Okay, JJ, let's go home. We won't be welcomed home by our dad anymore. No more of him playing with us, helping us, and so on. Yeah, Mikey, you're making me sad. Three hours later. There's our house. I don't feel like watching cartoons and playing with toys anymore. I'm depressed. I can't live without my husband. We all feel very bad without him. Yes, I understand all of you, but our lives don't end here. I'm sure he'd want us to move on and become good people. Our house is kind of empty. Everything seems to be in place. We miss our father back home. That's why it's so strange to be here without him. Oh, who's that ringing our doorbell? I don't know. I wasn't expecting guests tonight. Maybe they're some distant relatives of our dad's, but they didn't even write a letter. I don't like all this. What could happen? Calm down. Hello, I'm a bank agent. What do you want? Why are you here? Can I see the speaker man? He's in a lot of debt. He took a credit from our bank and didn't pay it back. What kind of credit? A credit for utility bills, for electricity, water, trash removal, and so on. If if he can't pay the money, you should do it. But our father died. His debts have been inherited by us. What are we supposed to do now? You need to give this house to the bank. If you can't pay for it, we have the right to evict you. Oh my God, are we gonna be homeless? Move out immediately. Oh my God. Now where are we gonna find that kind of money? I don't know, but we should hurry up and pack our stuff. But we just got back from a boat trip. Packing up my stuff again. But we don't even know where we'll be staying next time. We're gonna live on the street, JJ. We have no money at all. But how could it be? Our dad was very rich. No one knows where he kept his money. That's the problem. Oh my God! Six months later. 
Whew, good morning, everyone. I've long since gotten used to living in this newspaper house. It can get cold here, but at least we have a roof under our heads. Mikey, wake up! It's time for us to look for food again so we don't starve to death. And you sleep too much anyway. Good morning. I had a dream that we were living in an old and warm apartment with our dad. But we still live on the street. And no one gave us any food today so we could have a proper breakfast. Yeah, there's nothing in that box. And what do we do now? Oh, I think I got it. Usually there's a little bit of food in the trash. Wow, rummaging through a dumpster? That's a great idea. Time for something tasty to eat. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a moldy burger. Or maybe even two or three burgers just right for the whole family. Where's the food? I'm so tired of living like this. Good morning, Mom. How's the food search going? There's nothing at all. I haven't eaten anything in two days. I've lost so much weight already. It's horrible. Don't be upset. We'll find something. We just need to put in more effort and we'll definitely get lucky. Yeah, Mikey's right. We need to work harder. Oh, what's that noise in the bushes. By the way, I heard something too. Could it be cats or other homeless people like us? Come out. Hello, family. Our dad's a ghost? Oh my god, you turned into a ghost? Yes, there is such a thing. Oh my god, is that even possible? We're running out of time. All my money is buried behind the front fence outside our house. Get it out and you'll be rich again. You won't eat from the garbage anymore. Can we go back to our house? Yes, you'll pay off all your house debts and you can live there again. Hurry up before someone else buys this house for you. Oh, that's awesome. It's all for you, my darlings. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. We're back to being rich. I love you, darling. He's helping us all out again. I wish I could continue to help you, but I have to go. I love you all very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Dad. We'll always remember you. Our father got us out of such a poor life. We can eat normal food and sleep in a normal house again. Let's go dig up Dad's treasure. Yeah, we're treasure hunters. Whatever you want. I'm gonna go dig up the money. JJ, now we can afford to buy a bunch of burgers like the good old days. I'd eat a lot of food right now. Yeah, me too. Ugh, I'm so full. I can't fit anymore. Now we can eat like this every day. It's so good to be living in this house again. Better than living in a dumpster again. Yeah, I'd stay here forever. And what delicious food there is. Eat up, kids. Now we won't go hungry. You know, it might be nice to go to McDonald's tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now you can go play toys in your room. Oh, that's right. Now we have our own room. It's really great, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. JJ, let's go play. Let's bust a gut after a big lunch. I have a feeling this isn't a dream. No, JJ, I already had a dream like that today. Day. You can't have the same dream twice. Mikey, that lightning can't strike the same spot twice. And I've had the same dream a bunch of times. Dream how I've been toying with you here. And that dream became reality, JJ. Yes. Six months later. It's a beautiful morning of a new day. But this new day begins in the same old gorgeous house I live in. Hee hee hee. A rich life is a good thing. Wake up and go straight to a delicious breakfast. I love it. As usual, exquisitely served food that will give me energy for the whole day. Also so delicious. Breakfast time. Bon appetit to me. What a deliciously prepared meal. I'm thrilled. Big meeting today. Good thing I slept in. Hey, Mikey. Good for you for eating breakfast. I have an important meeting with my sponsors today. Wow, that's great. Will you take me to see it? Sure, Mikey. Let's go together. Thanks, Dad. I'll learn to negotiate and be as rich as you. Come on, Mikey. We got to get to the meeting on time. We're going to ride in your new sports car. Yeah, Mikey. On it. I'm going to take you for a nice long ride. Thanks a lot, Dad. You're the best dad in the world. You'll remember this trip for the rest of your life. We'll have a good time together. Of course, son. Let's talk about something. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry. I got a call from work. Hi, I'm on my way. I'll be right in the time. We won't be late. Don't worry. I'm responsible in my business. Are you stupid or something? I told you 30 times not to buy that stock. I don't care that there was an opportunity to sell them. You screwed up. Dad? I don't care what happened in there. You're losing my money, not yours. Either you fix it and give me my money back or I'll fire you. Jesus, this place is so uncomfortable to sleep in. I just can't get any sleep. Like and subscribe to the channel if you sleep on a comfortable and soft bed. Let's see how many of you are lucky. I wonder where mom is. Probably went to look in the trash for something useful. I hope she finds us something to eat. Mommy! Mom, are you here? Did you find anything interesting? Or at least something to eat? Good morning, son. No, I didn't find anything. We don't have anything to eat. Are those huge bins of garbage empty of everything we need? Yes, JJ. There's been nothing interesting here since yesterday. I'm really hungry, Mom. I'm gonna go see what's in the neighboring dumpster. You can go to the box and wait for people to help us. All right, Mom. Hopefully someone will be passing by. It's very sad to live in poverty when every day you live in the hope of just at least having something to eat. And as usual, there's not a single soul around us. Now I will sit and wait for people to notice my sign and be able to give my mom and I something delicious to enjoy. Look, someone's coming. Please help me. I don't think they saw me. 
No, they've turned around and they're coming at me. Apparently, they want to help me with the food. Yay, you have a very cool car. I like it. Here, look, son, a prime example. If you don't study, you'll just sit around begging for food from rich people. Wait, what? You should be ashamed to sit like that. You even let yourself answer me. I didn't do anything bad to you. Why are you doing this? I sure did. You've ruined my mood with your looks and your behavior. Dad, calm down. Let's go help him. Of course we will. Let's give him those rotten potatoes. Let him be happy now he can eat. Really? Why are you doing this, Dad? So he knows that in order to eat normally, you have to do normal things, not beg for food. I don't believe it. Please forgive my dad. I don't know what got into him. I'm so ashamed of what happened. I'm sorry. Never mind. You better follow your daddy. Why do so rich people treat poor people so badly? It's not like we've done anything to them. Write in the comments what you would do in their shoes. Would you help me or would you also throw a rotten potato? I have to find my mom and tell her what happened. What am I supposed to do with these potatoes? It's all rotten. Maybe I should throw it away. I didn't find anything in that dumpster. Anybody help you, son? There were some people driving by in a sports car. They mocked me and all they gave me was a rotten potato. Oh my God, are you okay, JJ? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't get upset with them. Well done, son. No need to worry. They is rotten potato, but don't worry. At least we'll be able to eat. That's great, Mom. I'm so glad because I'm really hungry. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about that boy who wanted food. Daddy was very rude to him. I can't just let it go. I'll go to them tomorrow and offer him my help. I'll try to get him in the house, as long as Dad doesn't notice. The next day. It's morning at last. Now I can go and help the boy. I really hope he doesn't back out because of yesterday and forgive me. Is someone here or is it just me? Ah, Mikey, where are you going? Do you need a ride? So that you don't have to walk, but drive. Eh? Uh, no, Dad. Thank you very much. I just went out for a little walk. The weather's great today. I just want to get some fresh air. All right, son. Don't go far away. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Mikey. Jesus, as long as my dad doesn't find out where I'm going, he'd be really pissed if he knew. We'll have to get him in carefully so daddy doesn't see. A new day, and once again, I didn't get a good night's sleep, and my mom is still searching through the trash for anything useful. We need to go and tell her the truth. Mom, look, I can't be here anymore. It stinks. I can't sleep. I'm tired. I understand you, son. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's the way life is. It's the way we have to be. But mom, I can't be here anymore. Let's try to fix something. Let's find something soft and put it in our house. For what? So I could at least get a decent night's sleep, just once. Okay, son, I'll figure something out. Okay, thank you so much, mom. Look! What's the matter? There's a boy walking towards us. Hey, hey, hello, all of you. I remember that boy. He's the one who used to come over with his dad and pick on me. They threw rotten potatoes at me. Yeah, we came to see you yesterday. That was me. I'm Mikey. He seems like a good boy, but inside he's as rotten as a potato. Yeah! That's not true. No offense to me about yesterday, please. My dad was angry and I was ashamed of myself. Why'd you come here, Mikey? Are you here to apologize or to help? I'm here both to apologize and to offer you a place to stay at my house. Only in secret from daddy. Wow, man, wow. I'd love to sleep in a nice house instead of this hole. I think we should take Mikey up on his offer, son. I totally agree with you, mom. My name is JJ, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm really glad you said yes. I couldn't sleep all night because of yesterday. Let's go in the direction of my house. I'm very happy, Mikey. Thank you for offering us such a favor. You're welcome. I'm really glad you said yes. Let's hurry up, it'll be dark soon. Is that how big your house is? Dad bought it and now we live here. Do you like the way it looks? Yeah, I like it a lot. You'll be living here now too. A super big house. So glad you are helping us, thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go inside now. I originally thought Mikey wanted to mess with us, but it's like we're really going into his house now. All right, look. Daddy's home on the first floor now. I'll take you up to the attic so Daddy won't find you. Let's go in quietly so we won't be seen. Okay, we get it. Let's go! I'm opening the doors. Welcome, come on in. We're going in. Wow, it's so spacious and super beautiful. This is the first time I've seen a house like this. Come on, don't waste any time. Get up the stairs. Yes, JJ, stay tuned and keep your voice down. All right, let's hurry up. Will we have a place to sleep in the attic? Mikey, stop. Oh, no. Yeah, Dad, hi. Did you want something? You walked in and didn't even say hello or approach. Is something wrong? No, Dad, I'm fine. I'm just really tired and sleepy, so I went straight upstairs. Oh, I got it. All right, son, good for you. Go up to your room and get your strength for tomorrow. He looked in my direction and didn't see me. How lucky I am. He has no idea we're in his house. Everything's great, guys. Hurry up. We were almost spotted. It was dangerous, but a lot of fun. The main part of our mission is accomplished. Now it's down to the easy part. Just go up to the attic and make your beds. That's great, Mikey. The three of us are like undercover spies. We're doing 10 out of 10 on our mission so far. We're almost there. This is where the room can't be occupied because of you can be seen. That's too bad. This room is great. I'd love to live here. 
And this right here is the entrance to your new room. That's great. I can't wait to see it. Welcome to your new home, friends. Wow, what a beautiful room. It's really a lot of pipes and stuff. That's all right. It won't hurt us at all. The room certainly isn't the best, but I think it's much more comfortable than sleeping outside. Sure, Mikey. We're very grateful to you. Absolutely don't care that there's a lot of stuff here. My mom and I have been living in a dumpster for a long time, and this room is heaven for us. That's great. You'll be sleeping on these. Unfortunately, there are no beds, but they're soft enough for a good night's sleep. Sure beats sleeping on the floor. Thank you so much, Mikey. You're very good to us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome, friends. Make yourselves comfortable. Mikey, where's the restroom next door? You can go next door, as long as your dad doesn't see you. Thank you, friend. You saved us. Come see us tomorrow. Bye. I'll be sure to come over and spend some time together. I'll bring some board games. Good night. We're very lucky, JJ. That's a very kind boy. He brought us to his house and gave us a room. He made us a bed, too. What a great kid. It's true. He's super kind. I can finally get a good night's sleep. I'm very tired today, son. You can enjoy our new room, but I'm going to bed. Okay, Mom, good night. Mommy's asleep. She deserves to sleep. She's done a lot for me. Be sure to give us a like if you're happy for us. And now we can go to bed in peace and quiet. The next morning. Where did I put the damn tools? They're always in plain sight when you don't need them. As soon as I need to fix a faucet, the tools are gone. It's ironic, isn't it? If they're not in any of the rooms, then I probably took them to the attic and just plain forgot about them. I'll have to go upstairs and make sure. The tools are probably in there. God, where could I have put them? Hole in the head forgot everything. I need to sign to what I'm doing. It's even more correct. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here, so this is probably where my tools lie. What the hell is that? What are you doing in my house? How did you even get in here? Hello, your son Mikey invited us here, said we could stay here. I'm not a thief. What? How dare you talk about my son like that? Oh my God. Get out of here, you homeless man. I'm going to call the police and tell them how you snuck into my house and decided to steal from me. I'm sorry, please. He's not lying to you. What? Whose voice is that? It's a beautiful voice. I'm that boy's mom. He's telling the truth. We didn't break into your house to steal anything from you. Your son let us in. What happened to him? Sir, why don't you say something? Are you all right? I think he was speechless when he saw you, Mom. Wait, don't swear. Wait, what's going on here? Dad! I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, but you wouldn't have let them in. And these are my new friends now. Mikey, your dad lost his speech when he found out I was here with my mom. What? Dad, what's wrong with you? I'm fine. I've just never met such a beautiful lady before. I'm so sorry, kid, that I yelled at you. I didn't know you were telling the truth. My name is JJ. Mikey, what's with your dad? Is he in love with my mom? I don't understand anything yet, JJ. What are we doing standing around talking in the attic? Let's go downstairs to the living room. Why? You want to kick them out, Dad? That's what I thought. I think we can be a beautiful family all together. Let's go talk about it soon. You heard it, Mikey. Now we're going to share a room together. I'm very happy about that. We were able to take you in. Now we will spend time together all the time. And it all started when you managed to sneak me and my mom into your attic. Yay! What wonderful coincidences there are in this world. Later. Ah, another beautiful day in my life. It's good to be rich. I'm the richest and coolest kid in the world. I have interesting toys, my own room, a TV with my favorite cartoons, and of course I have an awesome, expensive computer. I don't know how much it costs though. I was just told it was expensive. Huh, but it doesn't matter at all. I also want to ask my parents for a PlayStation 5. Let's buy it, please. Honey, we don't have to buy this. But why? Because, uh, hey, JJ. Hi. You came just in time. Your mom made breakfast. I did my best for all of us. Cool. I hope there will be pancakes. Sit down at the table and enjoy your meal. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, we can't afford to buy it because you're offering too cheap an option. But I thought it was a great option for our son. And I think we should buy something bigger and more expensive. What could be more expensive than a private helicopter? Private jet. Um, if you're interested, and I'd love a PlayStation 5. Five. Huh, we totally forgot about JJ's opinion. Uh, Mom and I thought about getting you a gift. Oh, really? But you decided. Good for you. Yeah. Honey, it's time to go to work. Okay, let's go. Oh, we have plenty of money already. Why are you both even working? JJ, there's no such thing as too much money. And money tends to run out. Here you go. It's for your expenses. Have fun. Oh. And JJ, we're going to get you a helicopter and an airplane after all. Oh, my God. We have a lot of money. Buy whatever you want. Cool. There are so many things I want to buy. I'm going out on the town. Honey, we have to go to work. Time is money. Yes, let's go quickly. Oh, today I'm going to buy myself in game console and eat fast food and drive around Just one town. condition, JJ. You have to be home by tonight. Okay, Dad. No 
no problem. We're very worried about you. You don't have any more restrictions. Yeah. Mom put lunch in the fridge. Hmm. There's mashed potatoes and cutlets. All right, we gotta go. JJ, have a great day. Okay, thank you. Uh. Call us if you need to give more money. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hope you both are having a good day too. And have a good day at work. It's nice to live in a rich family, and I'll soon have my own airplane and helicopter awesome. I have the best family and life in the world. I'm gonna drive around town and throw money around because I can afford it. And if I run out of money, I can ask for lots and lots more. Oh, I certainly don't have the coolest car, but that's good enough for me for now. Let's go! Because even with a car like this, I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. That's rich freedom. And the best part for me is that there's never a dull moment. I always have something to keep me busy. Oh, my stomach can't even rumble anymore. I haven't eaten in a week, I'm so hungry. How did I, Mikey, get so unlucky in life? I'm poor, I have no family at all. And all I can do is beg for food and money from passers-by. I wish a miracle would happen, I'm so tired of living like this. I would just be given the opportunity to get out of this poverty and I would be immensely grateful by now. But there are no good people in the world. Two hours later. Hmm. Except when I'm alone because I have no friends. Uh, but I don't need friends. After all, why do I need friends when I have lots and lots of money? Money is my friend. I'm so hungry. Uh, no, 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 no. I just can't pass in a situation like this. I just gotta have fun. Apparently, I'm gonna starve to death. Hey, hi. What's your name? Uh, hi. My name's Mikey. And my name is JJ. What's up? JJ, I don't have any money for food. Please help me. Oh. I won't stay in your debt. I'll do my best. Oh, that sounds interesting. Where's your house? Funny, that's my house. Huh, what? It's just a bunch of paper. Well, that's how I live my life. Mikey, I've made my decision. I'm gonna help you. I would really appreciate it, as I can barely feel my stomach anymore. I'll give you one diamond. <gasps> is that true? Yes, of course. Yay! I knew there were miracles in life. Hmm. I can finally eat properly. Yay! Thank you kindly, JJ. Ha! Give me that, please. But first, you have to do something for me. Uh, what do you need? Come on. It won't be that hard for someone like you, I'm sure. Hmm. Mikey, don't you want the diamond? No, I won't recant. I'll do whatever you want. Cool. Here's a look. It's pretty simple. You'll have to do what you normally do. Hmm. Well, if it's a task I can handle, I'm all for it. Give me the diamond. Nah. I'm not just gonna give it to you. Oh, hmm. Huh. Now it's all in place. Uh, JJ, wait. Why'd you do that? Dig through the trash, beggar. Ouch! Did you really think I wanted to help you? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> and your tears won't help you, beggar. And I believed you. Huh, how silly you are. That stupid boy really thought I'd help him. He's a beggar. What good is he? Huh, no use. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I'm starving myself, so I'm going to go out and get something good to eat. I'm going to eat my fill of junk food. Yay. <laughs> JJ, why are you so bad? Uh, JJ. Ah, he's already gone. I don't want to go through the garbage, but I'm afraid this is my last chance for survival. I'd like to buy something useful with this diamond, so I have no choice. Ew, who threw away a moldy tomato? Ew, I stepped in it. <gasps> I found it, that's the diamond. That's right, this suffering will pay off for me. And I have a great idea what I'm gonna buy with that diamond. I'm gonna open my own lemonade stand and make my first money. Success. The next day. Hello again, everyone. I decided to take another ride around my town. I'm thinking of buying myself a couple of new Rolexes. Come on over and buy some lemonade from Mikey's. A cold, delicious, and refreshing drink at a low price. What? Is that Mikey? He was living in a dumpster yesterday. That can't be. Lemonade. Buy lemonade. Just what you need in hot weather. Oh, hey, JJ. Hey, Mikey. Where'd you get the money for your lemonade stand? You opened it all for one diamond? No, I've been saving for a long time to start my own small business. You're a homeless beggar. You couldn't save up. You must have stolen money from someone. Okay, never mind. Pour me your lemonade quickly. Oh, you want some of my lemonade? That'll be 10 diamonds, buddy. What? 10 diamonds for your stinking dirty lemonade from the dump? I'd rather drink from a puddle than from you. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Look how many diamonds I have. 64 of them. I'd rather burn them than buy your disgusting lemonade. Don't you have anything better to do? Don't do it. I'll do it. That's it. Those diamonds could have been yours, but now they're gone. Why did you do that? You know I don't have much money and you burned it. Because I've been trolling you. You're ridiculous. You're a pauper. You stink. Get out. You'll scare away all my clients with your pranking. You won't have any customers. I should really get back to my business in my sports car. Goodbye, loser. It was really funny making fun of a lowlife like Mikey. How dare he not sell me his lemonade? But I don't care about him. Maybe he's right. I have no clients at all. Nobody wants my lemonade. I probably shouldn't have opened the shop. So today I have to sell my slime for 15 emeralds. Oh, what's this? Lemonade? I've never drunk lemonade before. That's worth a drink. Hey, buddy, could you pour me some of your lemonade? I'd really like to try this unusual beverage. Never sold it and don't know what it tastes like. What? You want to buy my lemonade? It stinks and it doesn't taste good. A previous customer said some really nasty things about this shop. I'm disappointed in everything. No one needs lemonade. Buddy, you're wrong. I want to buy your lemonade. 
succeed. Never give up and never give in if you don't succeed right away. Now, if you could pour me a cup of that drink. Don't give up. You're the first person who ever believed in me. Thank you. Lemonade, yes now. I'll pour you the freshest, most delicious lemonade I have. You know, I like you. I could sell you lemonade at a discount if you came to my place more often. Okay, buddy. Six months later. Here I am again, one of the richest men in this town. I'm out for a walk in my high-powered car. Should I get some coffee? No, I don't want to. Oh, there's a new bank here. I think I should go inside. I want to put my money in it. It's not cool to keep everything in cash. I wonder who's rich enough to open a whole bank. I wouldn't mind meeting a rich guy like that. So I walk up to him and I knock him out. Oh, you're a cool guy. Hello, I want to go to your bank. Let me in. Wait, wait, not so fast. Do you have any money? We don't let poor people in here. Yeah, if there's no money, get out. Oh, I don't have any money. I have diamonds. 64 grand. Look, I'm a rich guy. Can I go in now? Yeah, I think you're rich enough for our bank. You can come in now. Sorry to bother you. Okay, remember me? I'm the richest man here and you're just the servants. Okay, now I need to find the owner of this bank here. I should make an interest-bearing deposit. I'm sure he knows all the smart words. Maybe he's in the vault counting his money right now. Oh, is that a new visitor to my bank? What, JJ, what are you doing here? Mikey, wow, you've gotten so rich in the last six months. You started your own bank when you started in a dumpster. Yeah, JJ, it's my bank and my money. Did they tear down that stand? You're such a loser, and it's not your money. I bet you work here as a janitor. You were in the vault to mop the floors, and you're still funny. Okay, first of all, this is my bank. Second of all, you're terrible. You're not welcome here. And three, you're about to get kicked out by my guards. What? You wouldn't dare. Guys, come here. We're here, boss. You called us? Yeah, why'd you let him in here? Because he has money. You're wrong. This man is on the blacklist. What? Blacklisted? Yeah, get him out of here. I don't want to see him around here again. Okay, come here, man. Now we're gonna kick you out. No, you don't. You wouldn't dare. I'm rich. I'll have my revenge. Don't ever come here again. Loser, head in the mud. Nobody wants your money if you're acting like an idiot. Yeah, you're a complete idiot for coming here. You're right, Chief. He's a complete idiot. Nasty, horrible, rude, JJ. Yes, yes. He's very rude. And he's also very nasty. I've noticed that. Me too. Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. Those two guards beat me up pretty bad. Heh, <laughs> you got off easy. We could have knocked you unconscious. Get out of here. You're not allowed in. All right then. I'll find another bank where my money's safe. You two losers. You know, I've been beaten over the head pretty badly. I think I was mean to Mikey. I want to apologize to him, but they won't let me in the bank anymore. I'll have to wait until closing time. I hope Mikey forgives me. Three hours later. I've been waiting here for Mikey for so long. My legs and my back are stiff. I'm not used to apologizing to anyone. But right about now, that bank is closing. Mikey has to go home. And my parents are already waiting for me at home. Oh, there's Mikey. He's locking up his bank. It's a good time to go to him. It was a good day. Hey, Mikey, Mikey, stop. Let's talk. I want to talk to you about something. JJ, what do you want to talk to me about? I was rude to you at the bank today. Yeah, that was rude. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I've been acting really bad this whole time. Insulting you, humiliating you. I'm so ashamed I won't do it again. I'm sorry, Mikey. Oh, I didn't expect you to say that, JJ. I forgive you. Can we be friends again like we used to be? Don't fight and live peacefully. Yes, of course. That's a great idea. Then let's go out tomorrow. It's been so long since we've seen each other and talked like real friends. Yes, of course. I'd love to walk with you. Oh, that's great. And now it's too late. I I have to go home. I think you should too. Yeah, I gotta go home too. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Bye bye, JJ. See you tomorrow, my friend. Goodbye, Mikey. And you friends, put your likes on this video. Subscribe on our channel. Do you know how to put up with your friends? Write about it in the comments. We love all of you very much.